Hey everybody, Blade of Chaos here once more with Let's Play Victoria 2. As the United States of America, last part we continued our war in Mexico to actually try and persuade Texas to make some claims. We're getting there. It's, you know, game all land. They've got the war score, so they should be going. Let's get back in this though. So I'm expecting the CSA to form soon. That's the worst bit. Because I know it's going to happen. Iron and blood. Not my speeches and votes the majority of the great questions of the time decide, but by iron and blood. That's what the line was. A new rich load of iron ore has been discovered in the, Mar in the Marquette mine. While the ore is rich, it is also located in the perilous theft that is just beyond the reach of our present mining technology. We could attempt to extract the ore, but doing so will carry with it a cost in lives and blood. Um, this one's almost entirely better to do this one. I mean, it's 125% bonus and then plus 0.1 mining uh, plus potency. But this one just loses one militancy, so you know it's benefits. You know, benefits outweigh the cons. The pros outweigh the cons rather. Massively, even. Uh, okay, actually, I want to make friends with Russia because they have an event I like. The music is awesome in this game, by the way. Uh, UK, Horace Mann. Politician and lawyer Horace Mann began his reforms of the education system of Massachusetts. His system of schools became a model for the entire United States, so we gain prestige, priority, and resource points. Nice. Uh, we're actually going to go make friends in the UK, because they're apparently not liking us. I want to avoid a war with the UK at all costs. They have. Oh, we have a quiet call on them. Let me become the Mexican American War. Okay. Texas should be making claims that they have an army. Okay, we got to find that. Oh, it's down here being killed. Uh, she's still on peace out. Nope. Can we make that freaking? No. Far off. Uh, I'm over our limit on what? Oh, really? <laughs> Strange. Come on, this is one claim. Just give me enough jingos for one. <laughs> Abolitionist pamphlets. Um. An extensive tract describing the purported unconstitutivity of slavery is being widely disseminated in Memphis. Allowing its continued circulation might upset the lower classes, where it has seen the wider circulation. The attempts to curtail the distribution would definitely be regarded as an attack on freedom of speech. Should angle this district's big wigs? Um, I mean, actually, I'd rather annoy the... Actually, Memphis. Where's Memphis? That's it, it's Mem. M. Memphis is here. It's a slave state. Uh, you have mostly farmers. Let's annoy the upper class. I will always say, I'm not afraid to annoy the upper class. I mean, there's, well, at least, uh, well, a lot more lower class and middle class than upper class. Just looking at this, for God's sake. Uh, put military spending. Let's see if that actually helps that gene goes. It should, I hope. Uh, send you to Loretta. Still not doing well in education. I'm gonna change my, um, my a thing there. So I'm gonna go to Ohio. Encourage clergy, take out New York. And Georgia. Encourage clergy, take out of Pennsylvania. I think you can also do this and get liberals of all things, like party loyalty changes. I mean, look, you can actually see that party loyalty is beginning now. Mostly liberal here, mostly liberal here. Such and such. Uh, it's close to the next election here, which is starting to disconcert me slightly. Holy sight disturbed. Things have gone from bad to worse in P Pocatello, where the colonial police, while in pursuit of two local suspected of murdering a colonial official, have happened to disturb a shrine of some importance to local religiosity. Natives in the area are infuriated over the perceived lack of respect for their religion. Uh, this is Idaho, it's in the north. Oh, militancy and consciousness. Like, I, like, early game, I value consciousness high, um, I don't value militancy at all, I I don't mind butchering it. But, militancy, I'd rather avoid. Uh, let's move you to there. All the ruffians, the flames lick the log cabins and wooden houses, throwing a queer orange glow up at the sky, sky, night sky, only slightly obscured by the plumes of smoke billowing up from the town. He rides down Main Street, with strange shadows dancing around him as he goes. Come out, come out, wherever you are, he screams. Far away in the sea, his gunshots echo against the screams of dying men. Border ruffians, intent on making Minnesota a slave state, have crossed the border into Moorhead and raided the small outlying settlement and territory. <laughs> this is Moorhead. 
Morehead is here. Is this, why is this again? This is Morehead and Noise North. So why is this, this is against... They want to make it into a slave state, right? Again, this is... Uh, Bold Ruffians is not making it... Yeah, they want to make it a slave state. What is this? this oh, it's a colony! Okay. Um, that's Nordens. How's the UNSCA doing? Six slave, uh, six rebels around. You still a piece out, you know? No. Look off. Have we actually got access to this? We know we're getting lower. How are we going down on scale? Well, we're America. We have jingles all the time. More crusaders. Not what I was looking for. Election time. Okay, election comes up. You'll get like events to actually try and persuade people to vote for your guys. Um. I can see here, it's going about it's going three uh, you know. And when's it end? Uh it goes on six months. So uh generally speaking right now we're gonna get a conservative house, sixty two percent. And it's gonna go like that. So yeah, shouldn't be that hard. It's not a big thing, but it's big enough to you know worry about. Right, who produces what and where? Plans, economies and freedom raid. Local Tennessee administration has come under criticism for several instances of government subsidies directed to the sport in local industry. Opponents argue that the country's economic planners cannot detect consumer preference and shortages, and surpluses with sufficient accuracy and therefore cannot efficiently coordinate production. And creeping st statism that has begun to worry the residents of Tennessee. Um, there's a planned economy. Well, apparently no one has a planned economy, so we'll have a look at it. Colonial progress. One of the colonists reporting an astounding success in development of local commercial ventures and businesses to the colonial office. According to local governor, the primary reason seems to be the ambitious land reforms undertaken in tandem with the American capitalist and industrialist. The colony is reporting becoming more attractive to immigrants, and the reports affect well on industrialists as well. Michigan gains one life rating and gain consciousness. Or capitalists gain lose consciousness. Look at that one. Again, I don't mind consciousness. It's not a bad thing. Who are these guys anyway? These are. Nicaraguans, enjoy. Uh, Mobile or Kansas? Kansas Northern. Uh, move you to. Oh, I'll say this. Love and war, war policy debated in local elections. Opponents and proponent, proponents of military and armed forces taking sides for the coming election. All militarists argue that increased tension in the world and arms race between several of the great powers are reason enough to maintain a strong American military. Others are less convinced and see the military expenses as excesses and part of the government. Well, to be fair, he's kind of right. We're patriots to get more jingoes. Should hopefully. We're more in favour of jingoism. Oh, 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 we're getting there, we're getting there. So close. It's the golden circle. Uh, leave them be. I'm just going to sit and wait. And Texas. Peaced out. Te Mexico has collapsed. They're giving us Yucatan. Oh, because you're in the we wants it. I'm going to leave it a bit. I'm going to do the Liberate, I think. Uh, we won Loretto. Uh, okay. Future economy, economic policy debate in Ohio. The election debates in Ohio have been going on for several days now. And the issue that seems to be becoming the determining one of the outcome of the election is perhaps this, unsurprisingly, the economy. Several theories are being advanced. The voters want a clear statement on the government policy. How will the government make sure that every American citizen has a chicken in his pot during this coming term and season? I'm going to do state capitalism. Everyone loves state capitalism. I'm actually amused that we we broke... <laughs> we broke Mexico this early. <laughs> so, if a rebel faction wins, or other events happen, uh, you can actually change your type of nation. In this case, we've actually forced Mexico to become a autocracy. I never expected that to happen. Future of the economy, election debate, yeah, same thing. Uh, state capitalism. I'm actually going to fall back and try and help out the UNSCA. They need it. Empire of Mexico. That's actually quite glorious, excellent. American trade policy. A great debate in Virginia. The intensive election campaign has reached boiling point in Virginia, where fierce trade policy debate depicts the friends of free trade against the powers of protectionism. In a rough and tumble, rough rumble and tumble to determine the future of the nation's traders, 
Free traders argue that goods must be allowed to freely cross all borders, while protectionists argue that our nation's fragile industries need protection from foreign competition, threatening to undo them. Which path will the USA trade? Does it decide on free trade or protectionism? We report, you decide. Let debate take its course. Uh, because that goes 50 50. I'm going to pull my relations with, British, with Britain again. Um, I want to try and get to 100, which is going to take a while, but still. And Russia's the other one. Uh, Russia, Russia, Russia. Russia. Relations, please. Nice. Uh, cause, yeah, it's Russia, what do you expect? Have we got the Jingos? Uh, we are. Nearly then gaining. I mean, this war is very much going in our favour anyway. Where's the Texan group? Uh, falls in the ship. Do the Texans have any army anymore? Texas. Is not part of the war. Uh, Texans. Uh, they have a truce. Okay, so I can't. Okay. I'll try and liberate their land. I mean, we can. There's a liberate Cass's belly, which lets you free them, per, uh, in a sense. Uh, okay, same thing. 50 50. I don't mind which way it goes. I'm going to try and send these guys to reinforce the south front and help the ISCA. We need to be able to send a 9 stack down there. Why are we losing soldiers? Gods, guns, and men! Religious policy debated in Wisconsin. The morality and virtue of our people has decided to decline. This statement has caused much stir among the debaters of intoleration and religious morality. On the campaign trail in Wisconsin, many have begun questioning the country's view on religion, and there is no doubt that these issues will play their part in the coming election. I'd rather be secularist. So, religion is not a political issue. Uh, oh god, shut down. And uh, we just walked into a Mexican battle. Okay, who's in power? The conservatives and reactionaries. Okay. Uh, I think we just lost the battle. We lost the battle to Mexico. Oh, because it's too soon. Okay. He's just not a wipe. Still, just wanted to break through. Supply them up because I'm messing. Good. Next up, we're gonna get probably improved military. Um, and professionalism is always good. Tactics, um, I mean, last longer in battle, take less losses. Round last longer in battle anyway. And we should get some of these soon. Okay, can we actually get the. Oh god, we're so close. 71% war scoff, guys. Like, we should be able to just get out of it. We should be able to do this soon. Head to here. Uh, where's that 9? I'll then do the siege and we'll bring them through. Oh, let them do it. What are they going here? Mexican White Army. I think that's reactionaries. I can't remember. Uh, my walk is okay. Uh, Venezuela wants an alliance. Sure. But well, you were allied, to be honest. Head to Leon. Let's try and siege you back and help out the MSCA. Here, Max barking downstairs. Yeah, if you didn't know, I've got a uh, German pointer called Max, and he's a pain in the backside, to be honest. <laughs> but he's, he's a nice dog. He's just very annoying a lot of the time. Yeah, <laughs> let's not go into that. <laughs> you can see our parts going up, going up. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Just pick bar. Uh, we won the occupation of Pra. Yep. Uh, Chihuahua. Uh, still want peace out. Cut the Empire of Mexico down to size. Who requested that one? Colombia. Huh. That makes it so that they actually lose uh, half the military for a bit. I think you know what this claim's going up to. What are we up to now? 100 already. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna let that happen. It's my stuff. You piece that early one. Uh, we're doing a war goal with the Oops. Uh, we should get that war goals for your allies. Well, they're taking the, the infamy penalty. Which is kind of insane in itself. My allies have more infamy than I do. That's impressive. I thought I'd be the aggressive one here. for the ruffians. Yeah, you know. I, don't, I, I look at the thing's plurality. That's all I'm going to say. Pro plurality, yay! 
You always go bite me in the backside when it gets back to range, right? You're gonna move out to Crusaders again. Oh, Husso is a good target. Uh, yep, okay, you're done as well. It's San Fran. Holy sight disturbed. Um, I'm gonna listen to consciousness. He's trying to assist. Don't know what he's up to. Oh, he's having me siege, okay. Got the house rearranged. Less conservatives, more reactionaries, more liberals. It's getting entertaining. Uh, no. Asking. I'll let you know when you've got a peace deal we want. That's the UNSCA. <sighs> We're losing jingoism, what? Oh no, no, it's going up, it's going up. We're at 96% war score and we can't make our bloody... Uh... The Essays! Ralph Waldo's Emerson's, Emerson's first collection of essays was published in 1841 and introduced the world to a new, rather mystical philosophy indigenous to the New World. Although many Europeans didn't consider him much of a philosopher per se, his influence on continental thinking was unmistakable. Most significantly on Nietzsche. Um, moralism and prestige, nice. It's not upstage, but prestige is a good one of those. Wow, it's been sieged. I would like to stop these Nicaraguans from succeeding. I need to kill the rebels. American anti slavery. Um, founded in 1833, the American anti slavery society was an organization on the forefront of American abolition movements. What do you mean for this one? Uh, this is in Concord. Concord's over here. It's northern. It's, yeah, it's a naval base. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The North fucking annoy. Um, this is in Fayetteville. American New England. Oh sorry, sorry. Fayetteville. I think that's in the south. Oops. It's a slave state, isn't it? Yeah, slave state, we've got to shut it down. The thing is, you can annoy the North, and, in a sense, get away with it. Because the, the North isn't gonna do- hello, population growth. Interesting population growth, nice. And we kill the rebels, yay! Let's get these siege back, and we're taking attrition because of that. <sighs> uh, the Amstrad decision. In a ruling delivered today, the Supreme Court decided that the slaves involved in the violent rebellion aboard the Spanish schooner Amistad of 1839, late apprehended near Long Island, New York, were merely in light of the outlawing transatlantic slave trade, acting in defense of their personal liberty. He is viewed as a landmark victory for the abolitionist movements and public awareness of the slavery issues rising. Great! More consciousness! Shows what we needed. Let's see if we can get some more basic here. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Do you do? Come on, North Carolina. I'm sorry, I'm gonna call it, keep calling it South Carolina. I didn't even call it North Carolina there, box. I'm gonna keep calling it Carolina, because it is Carolina. Uh, what's this? Clay and Douglas draft, which gives us two consciousness down. South loses two consciousness. Gains six infamy. UK doesn't like us, France doesn't like us, Prussia doesn't like us, Russia doesn't like us, Austria doesn't like us, Ottomans doesn't like us. Spain doesn't like us, but gain Cuba. Africa, does that mean gain all those core as in we gain them straight out, or what? Let's do it. Six in for me. Blah. Uh, the Ostend Manifesto proposes that the island of Cuba should be annexed to the United States as a safe state. It's balancing the inflex the expected influx of new free states in the West. By supporting the manifesto, we can calm tension over the slavery issue domestically, but we want to reduce our standing with the European powers great power significantly. I'm going to do this Fugitive Slave Act, just to keep things happy. By inducing a federal Fugitive Slave Act, we can force the return of escaped slaves to the owners and slave states. Doing so will, at least for some time, calm certain fears of evolutionism. And the Clay and Douglas draft, which... Senators Henry Clay and Douglas A. and Senator Stephen A. Douglas have presented a draft proposal for compromise on the slavery issue. Since around the premise of popular sovereignty as the determination, determinant for slavery or abolitionism by the territories, by supporting a draft proposal, we could calm tensions over the slavery issue for at least some time. Now, does that mean we get Cuba? No, still Spanish. But still a great power. That's strange. And I need to make friends in the UK again. Um, we're good chums, really? Please? 
Oh god, the UK went to war with me now, I'll be buggered. I don't think they have a claim on us. Bad to me is, I don't think they have a claim on us. Uh, I still want peace. No! Stop asking! Now we're improvement. One less Sieber. And we'll leave them to siege that one down. Uh, we'll go and take... Tampico. Force the Navy out. There can't be that much land left. I know we're already at 100% war score, but can we just, like, literally... Just one war goal! That's all I want! Come on! One! One! Just one! Chemotherapy arm fusion down. Nice. That's us. Oops. Going down. Um, Indigrain railroads and then, yeah. Um, Montgomery on Nebraska. Nebraska. Mind of a siege. Uh, increased relations. We love you, really, UK. Please don't hurt us. Please. More Crusaders, this is getting painful. A seven bell. To our knights. Still on peace. No, I want to make a war goal on you. Let me have a war goal. I don't think I'm actually going to get one. Oh, fuck. Uh, could just peace out. I do need to start getting in for me down, to be honest. Next, Heldry. Uh, Janet Heldry was a major step forward towards understanding life itself. Gregor Mendel assumed that every trait in the organism contained is written down some material factors and tra transferred during the process of production. He experiments with his pea plants, he could prove his thesis. And to our knights. It's not what I expected when I went to war with Mexico. I was expecting to have the jingos by now. The amount of land we've taken off them, we have a 100% war score. Why haven't we got the freaking thing yet? I bet that war is through the roof. It is, it's on 96. 99. Oh god, they've got if they get any rebels now, jeez. What's their tech like anyway? Four. They have less army techs than us, they have way less naval techs. You see for me, you do it. You do the job for me. Copperheads. Peace snow. Look, you know what I want? Give me the Jingos, come on, Jingos. Up. Up! Oh, we're winning! Come on, send a bit more score. Moralist resurgence, and the moral fibre of a nation has thus degenerated now to the point where all the evils that are wont to plague a society are allowed free reign and roam in ours. What we need, what we desperately must have, is a moral resurgence in the USA. We must return to the old values, to the foundation, to the things that once made our country great. A preacher in one of our states has started a small but locally potent organization dedicated to what it claims is a much needed moral restoration to the USA. Of the USA, rather. No doubt this organization is piggybacking on the ruling party's already established moralist policies. And on account of that, the ruling party could probably use this small organization as a vital local ally. Moralism or literacy? Moralism. Who cares what religion you are, just. Do your will. Get along. Be friends. Be merry. And Pippin. Is it that much to ask just to get one claim? Come on, just one. Again, it's just taking a while. It's going down again. Go up, 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 up! Damn it, it's going down. Comet side. A comet in sight in the sky. Some believe this portends fell times ahead. Obviously, they are in fact PC fairies in the sky. There are also those who believe that this comet is most probably a giant ball of ice floating through the sky and the long trails are created due to the energy of the sun. The arguments amongst the three equally viable theories is stimulating the pursuit of knowledge in our country. Now, I remember that... <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, I remember E4. Oh, God, that one... Ah, every single time. How are we doing with the clergy, by the way? Still in the way. E4, that event would always be like minus one stability. Which, you know, is kind of entertaining. Uh, still one piece out, no. Five piece out. Give me a war goal! Uh, you know what, this rate is. Um. 
Do I want to give him Yucatan? Yeah. Go. Battle of Culiacan. New Mexico strength. Oh dear. Um. Do you not extend slavery? Texas applies for statehood. Um. Yesterday morning, we received a petition from the Texan Congress requesting statehood in the United States. A state constitution has been submitted, along with the maps defining the state's territorial boundaries. Common opinion seems to hold it a foregone conclusion that we will accept this position for statehood and forever join Texas to a glorious republic. Trust the common man to get it right. Texas joins us. Um. Uh, I. Uh, uh, got to. Uh, we can make states of Florida and Michigan. Michigan be a state. <sighs> Extend slavery. And Florida. Do not extend slavery. So I should actually free up the slaves. But we are actually going to disband our armies, I think. There's a weird boundary. <laughs> uh, yeah, disband and we just rebuild them. Problem is, I don't know where they're from, and I'm kind of trying to work it so that when the um, CSA, Confederate States of America, come along, we've actually got a good army to go with? Question mark. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised most of these are actually from the north, aren't they? Uh, if we could build anything, it'd be nice. Are you serious? We can't build anything? Holy crap, why not? Huh. That's different. Let's get a couple of these guys going. Oh dear, more sessions. Now we don't have an army, they don't have an army. We're both doomed! Build them any okay. Redrawing constituencies. From time to time, we modify the maps of the political constituencies to better uh, conform with what we believe people truly want out of a political system. If we notice that the wrong party is gaining traction we, where we do not feel they should, we simply redefine the vote up, take out if the constituency is a better match, a more reasonable policy. We've noticed there's been a strong voice to pin a sport for liberal policies in our provinces recently, and we're not sure that this area should be allowed to actually vote along those lines. We could bring in some neighbouring districts to form a strong conservative base in the entire state, but that would increase local militancy by doing so. Uh, no, I'd rather liberals. Nothing wrong with liberals. Oh, uh, get rid of you and get rid of you. There we go. Now I've got to keep making friends with the UK. I've got no army at the minute. This could have gone badly wrong. Badly, badly wrong. Because they had a. What's that? Oh, is that one? Oh, we've got one of them. Okay. Uh, our professionalism is done. Nice. So, we're going to move on to... Um... Ideological... F oh, idealism is a nice one. Because I've got more research points. After that, I'll just see what we can do from there. Dude, Mexico fell down and became a civil... a government. Southern Bell to our knights. Oh, ah, uh, diplomacy, I forgot about that. Uh, Venezuela, you're done, so I'm not too fussed about you guys anymore. We are going to look around South America, North America, anyone else? Hawaii would be a good one. So at Haiti. Yeah, we'll go with those two for now, see what we can do. In the mole cotton fields. Um, the cotton produced in Washington, in Wilmington, sorry, is of the highest possible quality and strength. So strong, in fact, is the Wilmington cotton that the white bulbs harvested there have begun building quite a reputation for themselves as being some of the best available in the world. The reputation has built for quite some time, and local farmers have begun taking pride in the fact that, in the world of cotton, Wilmington is a byword for quality. Uh, prestige. Uh, uh, between Barton. Yeah. It's better, be more prestige. Glory, hallelujah. Do, 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 I actually do like this theme. I do actually like that song, it's a really good one. Don't know why. Let's try and encourage more people to. Uh... I need more soldiers, that's the thing. Uh, Pop up tariffs. I don't help that that much, but you know. Better than nothing. Come on, Crusaders! So why can't we get any soldiers? So we can, okay. Uh yay yay yay. Shut down. 
John Brown's last raid. John Brown's body lies a mouldering in his grave. In the grave, where his soul is marching on. John Brown's body, you might see something. Playing the abolitionist movement. The late John Brown was hanged in Charlestown, Virginia, today after a failed raid in the military armory. Supposedly, Brown planned to use Arsenal's weapons to arm slaves and incite an open slave rebellion across the entire South. The raid and John Brown's death have further escalated seven centuries over the slavery issue. In some slave states, there is now even talk of secession from the Union. So is indeed marching on. There's no seen slavery in the South. And it's conscious in the South. Great. Just what we needed. Uh, let's try and build some forces at least. Yep. Um, Boston. Okay, we'll get a couple of cannons. And a... Uh, what's the one I go with? I think, honestly, I want to go with the Hussar. Okay, caress the A. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, anyone Navy? We need to actually building up to the limit, aren't we? Let's go with that. Right, so what else do I need? Britain, I... I want to make friends real quick. Unless they hate me the better. Copperheads. Wrong Crusaders. This is getting bad. Uh, we can find the... Oh, sweet, Cincinnati. How are we doing? Okay, uh, one national focus is done. Which one's this in? Ohio is done. Sweet. So I'll move you to Massachusetts from Ohio. So this should be getting our... Yeah, it's getting our... It's getting our uh, clergyman up. How are factories doing? Let's keep some subsidized. Wrong Crusaders, again. More railway, yep. Oh my god, that might find the railways, that's a, that's a good idea. Abolition Spampers. Uh, I. This game bad, jeez. Seven Bells, one Nights. I think I'm very much. Uh, um. You would be. So we're actually going to start getting an army together anyway. Uh, parax prophylaxis against malaria, that's a good one. Uh, Haiti and Hawaii. Well, Hawaii is an obvious one. Uh, Haiti, I'm hoping you can do the same thing there. If not, it could be a bit of trouble there. Hmm. Oh no, I'm kind of worried now. Uh, Colombia wants to join the world. Brazilian liberation of colonial of Colombian Amazonas. Ooh, who are you actually fighting? It's just Brazil. Okay, how big is your army? Uh, there it is. 15 versus 5. I have no army at all, so I'm no help to you. Sorry! Couple heads. Probably won't work on small arms in a bit. I'm getting a lot of cash, that's a good sign. Probably afford to dumb down some of the things. Uh, put tariffs down a bit. Uh, North Dakota or oh, Biloxi? Let's shut it down. Let's put down tax on these guys. See if that'll encourage more people to become capitalists. Yeah, it's varying. There are about 10 military divisions. Just a part. We don't have a parliament. And it seems altogether pleasing, therefore, that you're the longest established shall prevail throughout the centuries, throughout the eras, and today. A conservative member of the upper house addressed Parliament today with a lionizing speech to the nation and the manifold glowers. I lose consciousness. I'm worried about the South. Anyway, so you guys are going to form up in Washington. You are a. Are you ambassador insulted. Our ambassador is one of the great, great powers, telegraphed home, expressing his frustration with the response, or rather, lack of it that he has received while trying to settle a bilateral extradition treaty with a country in question. Uh, apparently our ambassador has been snubbed repeatedly by the foreign administration and has been delegated to speaking to civil servants instead of being allowed direct access to the country's decision makers. This diplomatic back and forth has been going on for two months. It's with the Russians. Eh, let's make friends with them. The Russians are nice folk. That's our artillery. Yeah, we're going to artillery piece as well. Hopefully it'll fit. That's another boat. Hmm. 
That war took longer than I thought it would and made us less than I hoped. These are still good provinces, I guess. Can we have it? Yeah, easily. Can I upgrade any naval bases? Yes, I can. Atlantic City. Uh, Long Island. Okay, let's look around. It looks like... Uh, Houston. New one. Let's see you there, Houston. There we go. Heat... Okay. Uh... Couple heads, obviously. Hoping there's a chance to annex these guys when we're done. Mexican reactionaries enforce their demands. No voting. So it's basically an autocracy now. Yep. Oop, bumping. It's an autocracy. Absolute monarchy. It's kind of, it's kind of funny to see, actually. Love me, Britain. Please, love me. <laughs> yeah, let's get your Carassier going. More Crusaders, again. Colonial instance. A colonial regiment in one of our colonies has an encounter with a regiment from another colonial power, which had, according to a military report, crossed into our colonial claim on an obscure waterway a fair distance since the colonies hinterland. The report further goes on to state that the foreign regiment was, when encountered by a patrol, in the process of conducting a geological survey of the area, which is of which is as of yet unknown to us. Hulkish members of the War Cabinet see this as a direct assault on the USA's territorial integrity and call for the execution of a plan they have termed, quite simply, Operation American Fury. Are you sure that's not Operation American uh, Enjoying Freedom? Enjoying Freedom. Netherlands! Um, what do the Netherlands have? Do they have anything down here? Yes. Do you have any great power allies? You don't. Oh, no, you know, you have pressure. Um, jingle with them. I don't really care about stuff over here, that's just a sad thing. I'm gonna send stuff over here right now. No, we should be, that's the annoying thing. There you go, more research points, that's gonna help us out a ton. Um, ideological fort. Oh, hello. Let's get, um, muzzle rifles. It's Jahoy, oh dear. Okay, he's busy. Do I want to go against anyone in Africa? I do kind of want to make a claim on Egypt. But, mm, Suez is always a nice target, to be honest. Problem is, I don't really have the um, thingy right now. I have the uh, infamy. Let's try and make a claim on them. What was it going to cost if we do it? Demand concession. Five for me to do so. That's a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Um, in Ethiopia, why don't we just do conquest on you? Uh, conquest. 22. Okay, so we can't do conquest. Do not do conquest. <laughs> Sokoto, we have no allies to speak of. Egypt, you are allied with Nejd. Yemen, with Ethiopia, Abu Dhabi, Hejaz, Oman, Abu Dhabi, which is around here. Persia would be good to get, I guess. Or Merkan. Merkan's on its own, actually. Yeah, I'll go for Merkan. Justify a protectorate. 10 for me, 128 days. Yeah, that's a good one. I Means it's gonna be a small one for me, penalty, and that's very simple invasion to do. Or Crusaders, again. I feel like I'm getting too close into Britain's territory right now. <laughs> Let's go right next door to him. Oh dear, 8.3. That's new borders drawn. Copper heads. American Menace! Yay! Fast CB made. Fast CB making, maybe I'll call it. Where's my. Okay, we actually need to merge you guys up. There's nine transports in here. Might be worth getting rid of the. Where's the Washington Rally Point? Oh, rally then. Job. Let's get ready for this. Uh, I'll throw you two over there as well. See if we can do this before anything goes wrong. Can I get access in Britain? Well, they absolutely hate all men. You like us? Uh, let's us. Not why. Infamy. And base lessons, okay. 
Is there any powers over here I could actually bounce off? Sind. Uh, access? Why not? Come inside with me. Blah, blah, blah. Persia, what are you? No. Ah, uh, I need to find a power I can bounce off then. Yemen? Hmm. Uh, France. Boy likes France. Government type, relations. Infamy, base license. Yeah. Portugal. You like us more? Can we bounce off you? No, even less so. Okay. Alright, so we're going to uh, just leave you with them, I guess. How many transports do we have exactly? Nine, so we can take 27. Could get a few more steam. There's a, actually, there's clippers in there, aren't there? And four, huh? Uh, you, uh. Did. You fuck you over. Put that clipper actually. Yeah, build a clipper instead. Does that one take too long at all? How are we doing down here then? Ah, we're done in Massachusetts. Really? That was quick. Massachusetts is done, so New England. New England has. 1.2. Do I want to leave it there? Actually, to be fair, I'd be fine with what we have now. <laughs> yeah, let's actually, let's actually get them going. Glad you. Again, there. And Georgia, how are you doing? Georgia has. 1.6. It's getting there. Slowly, but getting there. That's a naval base done. Uh, prestige. Nectar. Oh, it must be a new naval base, but yeah, new ones. Uh, leave it be. Actually, you kind of do want to proc it now, to be honest. Oh, Crusaders. Mercan. Okay, so I actually go fund the navy if we can. No, we're not. To be fair, the navy isn't going to be that important in this, so. We're going to declare that war, because I think they're isolated on their own. So, Mercan, thank you. Uh, are you in hemisphere? No, no one's even trying. So nice texture it complies. Very, very likely. Uh, let's call them in. Bum bum dum bum. Liberia's ours anyway, so. Uh Venezuela. I actually do want to check you over because it's damage. You lost a bit of ground. Did you lose any ground? Doesn't actually look like it. Huh. Better than I thought. Right, you guys. No joke. Let's see what we can get on the boat. Uh, 414. Typical. We leave the infantry behind. <laughs> really? You thought that was logical? <laughs> you pillocks. Oh, uh, I want the navy. Um, actually, no one. Get off the boat. Get on the. Get to Washington, you crap. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna balance you out and take like two, two, two each time. I mean, hell, there's gotta be enough to take him out as it is. We have 66 ships here. Oh god, we have too many ships. Uh, head to Gulfindus, and while I'm sailing, I'm gonna call this a power here. So, I will see you next time, folks, for more in the wonderful land of Victoria 2, as as the Americans. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, folks.